Here's a quick video for high pressure ball valve. This is probably the most efficient thing that you can add to your pressure washing business. Uh, this basically, when configured correctly with the correct fittings, will allow you to quickly change between the different cleaning tools that you might have, such as a turbo nozzle and a surface cleaner without having to turn off your pressure washer. So this is super, super efficient for your pressure washing business. And I think for a cleaning business, every pressure washing business should own one. So I'm going to show you all the different components, how to build one and what each individual part is. So these are all the parts that you're going to need. You're going to need a coupler, which is this quick connection coupler. This is what's called a nipple. These things here are called doughty washers. These fit between... Uh, they fit onto this nipple uh, section here and they actually act as a seal. This is your ball valve, a high pressure ball valve specifically. And then this is your adapter or some people call it a plug. So this just allows you to like quickly connect between all of your equipment. The only thing that changes on these is actually the uh, connectors and the adapters. But you imagine You've got this attached to your high pressure hose just allows you to quickly connect between the different instruments let me show you this now so here we go so simply pull this section back here and there we go there we go the reason that's stiff is because we've got O-rings inside uh, these uh, adapters here. You can see it just in there. There's an O-ring. Uh, it's a lot easier to pull out when you've got all the hoses uh, connected to there. But these are other things that can be serviced on your quick connection coupling. So if you ever have fittings that leak, quite often times you've got to just replace the O-ring that's in there. A little bit difficult to do, but let me show you how to assemble the high pressure ball valve setup. So here are the components that you're gonna need. I actually use this uh, pipe thread uh, to seal everything up. Um, the reason I use this type of uh, thread sealer, you can use what's called PTFE tape, which is a clear plumber's tape. Um, I personally just like this um, type of thread sealant because it doesn't set super duper hard. So whenever you do need to replace these parts, such as the couplings that might wear after say like a year, um, you can actually undo them when you're out in the field. You're not gonna be like stuck with all this stuff glued together and then you're gonna have to replace everything. So um, that's the reason I like to use uh, stuff like this rather than the super heavy duty pipe thread lock. Uh, just makes it easier when things go wrong. So yeah, uh, another little tip as well. If you are using this pipe pipe thread stuff, uh, it's super easy to get all over your hands. So put some gloves on. And let's start putting it all together. a doughty washer uh, this is a 3 8 nipple and what I do is rather than just pushing it straight on I actually sort of thread it on so it doesn't destroy the little rubber grommet you can see here it's that little rubber grommet if I just push that through directly sometimes it can destroy the grommet so I like to actually like sc like screw it on So if I was going to describe this 
uh, part here. Uh, this is called like, it's an AR31. Uh, it's the name of the coupler. But it's the name of the coupler. These There's different uh, brands and variations. So it's a coupler, whatever the brand is, to a 3 8 female. And then what I've got is a 3 8 that's the diameter here, BSP, that's the type of thread, and it's called a male male nipple. So that's a 3 8 BSP male male nipple, and that goes into the 3 8 female screws in there. And whenever you have straight fittings, um, this is a straight fitting, this is a BSP fitting, which is straight. The other type of BSP fitting you get is a BSP T, which means tapered. If it's tapered, you don't need one of these washers. But for a normal BSP straight fitting like this, you need to put on the Doughty washer. Let's put on the other one as well. And that's everything connected. Um, if you do decide to use this, uh, it's called True Blue. In the UK, you can buy this from a tool station or screw fix for roughly about a tenner, maybe 20 quid. Give all of this a good wipe so it's nice and clean. And I'll do that in a minute. So yeah, give this a little clean. Let's get a bit of kitchen roll. A cloth. And this way, when you've got all this stuff in the van, you're not going to start getting uh, sealant over everything. And that's it. So you imagine you've got your high pressure hose, it's plugged in here with your ball valve. Now this way, whatever, if you've got a lance here and you've got one of these fittings at the end, you can simply just plug in and then when you're ready to go, open up the ball valve, you've got your high pressure. You can start pressure washing everything with your surface cleaner or your turbo nozzle. And then when you've cleaned a certain area, you can just turn the valve, release the pressure in the gun or the surface cleaner, unplug it, and then by slightly opening up your ball valve, you can rinse everything down super fast. Uh, it's a really efficient way of cleaning. Uh, you don't have to turn off the pressure washer or anything. And then when you're ready to connect to your new uh, tool, you just isolate the ball valve, which is in, um, this direction, which means it's off. When it's in line, it means that's the, the line for the flow. And then, um, so yeah, isolate, connect back up, open the flow, and then your tool is live again. So this is your high pressure ball valve. That's how to spec it up. The only thing you need to know is what the type of coupling is that you need. And that's it. That's how to uh, assemble and build up high pressure ball valve. 
Hope that was useful. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you actually want a ball valve and you just want the right one for you, uh, send, send through the fittings that you've got on your at uh, the end of your high pressure hose and I can just spec it up for you and get the correct stuff sent out direct to your address. I can do this on, maybe takes three days for, for everything to get to you. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed this. I'm Dan from Hero Softwash. Peace.